most of our hormones will decline as we age, but insulin and cortisol increase. So that's why as we age, we could have an increased risk of diabetes, heart disease. That's because we're becoming more insulin resistant. We have higher levels of circulating blood sugar. So insulin is going to um, respond to blood sugar. And often as we become more insulin resistant, it takes more and more insulin. And this is really inflammatory and it creates more inflammation, higher levels of blood sugar, um, increased risk of the diabetes, heart disease, dementia, right? We call that type three diabetes, Alzheimer's. So one of the things is that when, as we fast, as we eliminate, we break up with the toxic ex-boyfriend sugar. I always call it toxic ex-boyfriend sugar because you know, they just want to creep back into your life. Oh, just one more kiss, just one more day. We can just do that, right? Anyway, that sugar is communicating with us. So um, maybe maybe people know what I mean when I say toxic ex-boyfriend. Anyway, it's like <laughs> so that's a way to consider sugar. Um, and so as we eliminate sugar and we intermittent fast and stop snacking, we become more insulin sensitive. So our blood sugar stabilizes. We don't have ups and downs in blood sugar and have cravings. And that's a really important piece to the longevity secret to aging gracefully as we age, you know, to really aging gracefully. And then the piece of cortisol, cortisol is our stress hormone, our natural, um, anti-inflammatory life-saving hormone when we need cortisol it is good and it's right there for us right but if it's on too long like those of us in my experience who have had post-traumatic stress like i did from a traumatic incident in our life i had incredible post-traumatic stress so i was always firing cortisol and when cortisol goes up like in this pandemic stress when cortisol goes up what happens is all of a sudden we're like, oh, well, you know, I really don't want to go to that family gathering. I really, you know, I haven't talked to my friends in forever. And you start to isolate more, become more and more isolated and um, have more and more social anxiety. I would say you walk into the grocery store and you see like, a, you know, someone you've known for decades and you pretend you don't see them. You don't know them. I mean, cortisol will do that because as cortisol goes up, oxytocin, the most powerful hormone of our body, oxytocin, goes down. That's the hormone of love, bonding, and connection. So when we are laughing, when we are playing, when we're shopping with our girlfriends, drinking wine at the table and having a blast, telling stories, right? Mm -hmm. Watching my big fat Greek wedding. I don't know. That's my favorite. You're increasing oxytocin, the hormone of love. So when oxytocin goes up, cortisol goes down. And that's really important and to remember too, when cortisol goes up, oxytocin goes down. And when cortisol, stress hormone, it goes up and it's up too long, the area in the brain called the paraventricular nucleus will shut down cortisol. So you're in that dangerous place where cortisol and oxytocin are both suppressed. Mm -hmm. And that I say is the physiology of divorce, physiology of burnout, physiology of depression, isolation, and suicide. Mm -hmm. So we have to empower oxytocin, that hormone of love. And so there are several practices we know as part of longevity, right, that mm -hmm. we, have, we do to increase our longevity or oxytocin so meditation mm -hmm. laughter journaling being with friends connecting with people you love and care about you know though that's so powerful 